Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility, is trying to play God as they try to create a life through technology. And so people are getting scared. And some even think that maybe this insane thing is a sign that the world will soon come to an end. Welcome back to our channel. International Tech Masters is here again to deliver the latest tech news. Today, we are going to take a look at the contentious Ectolife and give you 10 reasons why it should be stopped. The world's first artificial womb facility, Ectolife, is completely powered by renewable energy, including solar and wind power. It allows infertile couples to procreate and become biological parents of their own child without the woman carrying it. As it is permitted for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. The cutting edge facility has 75 state of the art labs that each house up to 400 growth pods or artificial wombs. It can aid countries experiencing extreme population decreases such as Japan, Bulgaria, and South Korea among many others. Also, it claims to put a period to infertility, miscarriage, premature births, C-sections, and childbirth pain, and offers a free post-delivery paternity test. Additionally, through this technology, the baby can be monitored through the phone so mothers can connect to them, learn while still in the womb, be provided with nutrients, and be genetically edited. Ectolife is really jaw-dropping. But before heading out to the next part, ponder these thoughts. Do you think that their experiment could someday come to life? And despite its amazing potential to give life to those who want a child, do you think that Ectolife should stop its operations because of its huge ethical and moral issues? Let us know in the comment section down below. To get this started, here are the 10 reasons to convince you why Ectolife should be stopped. Number 1. No technology can replicate the connection between a mother and her baby. Ectolife has a pod that is meant to simulate the precise circumstances found within the mother's uterus. They claim that it can enhance your attachment to the baby by using virtual reality to discover what it's like to be in your baby's position. Using a 360-degree camera installed inside your baby's development pod, which can enable you to look at what they see and listen to what they hear, and a wireless haptic suit connected to their growth pod to allow you to feel the kick of the baby in the artificial womb. Also, mothers can directly sing to their babies to make babies become familiar with their voices before birth. The first link between a woman and her baby is formed when a fertilized egg develops into cells that form the embryo and the placenta. So one thing it cannot copy is the maternal-fetal emotional relationship that happens constantly during pregnancy, unlike this technology, which just depends on the mother's availability. According to Mary Harrington of Unheard, a mother's devotion to her baby is the template for our wavering belief that all human life has value. When we stop making mothers, we hack at the foundations of that value. Pity the factory made infants newborn and helpless in such a world. Number two, it is not inclusive as it has an elite package that cannot be afforded by ordinary people. Given the amazing features of Ectolife found in the elite package, it is predicted that it could not be bought if you did not have lots of spare money. So it may still disappoint people who want to have a child someday using this technology, but do not have an extra budget. Number three, there might be risks in genetically engineering a baby. Through the elite package, you may be given the chance to genetically engineer the embryo before implanting it in the artificial womb, which allows you to modify the attributes of the baby from a selection of more than 300 genes using the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technique. This lets you personalize your baby's eye color, hair color, skin tone, physical strength, height, and level of intelligence, and enables you to correct any inherited genetic problems in your family history, ensuring that your baby and their future offspring enjoy a healthy, pleasant life free of genetic diseases. But this is still questionable, as genetic engineering has its downsides such as unpredictable outcomes, unfavorable effects on diversity, and unwanted side effects. Number four, it doesn't really become a feminist tool in the presence of patriarchy. Since Ectolife lets you choose the gender of the baby, there could be an uneven gender distribution. This is bad because it would be dangerous to present this in a society where patriarchy or unequal treatment between genders still exists. 
It is true that an artificial womb liberates women from pregnancy constraints. But if there is an option to pick the gender of a baby, and many will tend to favor too many men, then female empowerment and gender equality may be hindered from progressing. Number 5. The concept of individuality will be lost. Humans are all unique, but if Ectolife will allow babies' characteristics to be customized, then the concept of individuality will be lost, since how they become is controlled rather than just letting it naturally flow. Additionally, unattainable beauty standards may be echoed through this as instead of embracing flaws, people may become addicted to the idea of perfection and they may form notions about what is and is not beautiful. But before we continue, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and click on the notification bell to get you posted on our next upload. Now let's get back to the video. Number 6. It may cause uncontrollable population growth. They try to pitch Ectolife as a solution for those who need to increase their population, but it may have a risk of overpopulation as well. As we know, Overpopulation can cause problems due to the large number of people that need something. Some examples are the lack of available jobs for all, economic disparity, overwhelmed healthcare systems, urbanization, and an inadequate supply of food and natural resources. Number 7. It has ethical and legal issues. According to Hashem, in terms of time frame, it really depends on the ethical guidelines. Right now, research on human embryos is not allowed beyond 14 days. After 14 days, embryos must be destroyed due to ethical concerns. If these ethical restrictions are relaxed, I give it 10 to 15 years before Ectolife becomes widely used everywhere. As we can see, experimenting on animals is difficult enough for scientists in terms of the ethical and legal issues that they must face, so imagine how much more difficult it is when it is on humans. Number 8 it can worsen capitalism. This advanced technology that promises a lot of advantages can be used by capitalists to gain more power, money, and control. You may think they are developing it to help people, but in reality, they are just here to make more money. Number nine, when they grow up, babies can be abused or turned into armies or slaves. Ectolife can incubate 30,000 babies in a year so governments may own them and use them as armies to gain a military advantage or as slaves by making them work for them. As a result, they can devalue human life if they ever create humans without giving them a home with a parent who can genuinely love them and the freedom to choose their path. Number 10. This is a demonic idea for those who believe in God. The theological concept that humans are created by God is widely known and accepted. So protests are unavoidable since people find some moral issues in it. Religious people believe that this becomes demonic when science is misused, or if someone tries to play God by creating something that is not natural. So if ever this becomes successful, it can break the foundations of their belief that God is the only maker of life, or people may treat life as if it is a competition between God and man. This sounds disturbing, but is ectolife a real thing? To answer the question, no. Ectolife is just a creative concept created by Hashem al Ghaili, a science communicator with a background in molecular biology, who uses his passion and knowledge of science to educate through videos. However, there is still a chance for it to happen in the future since technology is evolving and is based on the existing research of scientists and engineers since the 1950s. This dystopian idea is so heavy to hear for a lot of people, as creating life through technology is something you can only see in sci-fi movies, but cannot imagine being true. Also, many people are wishing that this does not come to life, as it has a pile of issues that outweigh its benefits. We can't wait to see what awaits the future of humanity, but if this is ever pushed through, let us hope now that we cannot see some experiment gone wrong as we do not want to see a child suffer for the rest of his or her life. And that's it for this video. Before you leave, why don't you check out our other videos by clicking on the button above. You can check out our other videos such as Dyson's air purifying headphones, how TikTok brainwashes people, and many more. If you want to know more about the latest tech news, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell to keep you posted.